Hello everyone, today I'm going to bring you the fourth video of my new featured video section. These videos contain Pokemon Wi-Fi battles of people other than myself. Most of these people are new, underrated or unknown YouTubers that deserve to be in the spotlights as well. This project is actually a shout out to other channels on my personal channel. I do this because I know how hard it was for me to begin from zero subscribers and I'd like to give these people a push in the back. These featured channels videos will be uploaded on Tuesday or Thursday, depending on when I get these videos sent over. Now this video contains a match of Justin D. This is a person I met on Smogon quite a while ago and I'm glad he submitted the battle to my channel. The simple reason is he makes original movesets. When watching his videos you can totally tell that he understands the Pokemon metagame and that he decides to make original movesets to distract the opponent and try to lure him into some kind of trap thinking that the opponent knows the Pokemon but instead Justin D is just gonna use a different set kinda to scare him off. So as I'm very fond of these original sets I can suggest you to check him out. And yeah, if you like this video, support this guy by checking out his channel and give him a subscription. This way we can expand the Pokemon community and bring a lot of new players in. Now, that was all the thing I wanted to say, so let's continue to the battle, shall we? Hello, what's up YouTube viewers? My name is TJ Stanley. As you may know or not know, I'm doing Pokemon battles. BioLizard gave me the opportunity to post this video on his channel, so cheers and thanks for the BioLizard. And you're gonna say hi to all the people. But I don't want to! Anyway, let's continue. Uh, last night I had a battle against the Gary. The Gary is a girl on Cerebi. She wants to use a never used tier, and I'm gonna use a Jigglypuff. I know what you guys are thinking why a Jigglypuff? Well, Jigglypuff is one of my favorite characters in Pokemon and also in the game. So I'm gonna prove to you all that Jigglypuff is worth using, equipped with an Evil Light, and it can, pack, and it can hit quite some punch. So she's going to lead off with a Bayonet, I'm going to lead off my Daisy. Daisy is a Chirin. I wanted to use the Sunny Day set, so I'm going to Seed Bomb her, but I think she noticed that and she tricked me so I get her Choice Band and she's getting my Heat Rock. So Sunny Day won't last long, five turns, I think. So yeah, I'm going to Seed Bomb her and that, that did quite a lot of damage, but it didn't kill her off and she's going to use a shadow claw on me so I'm have to force to switch out because she's going to a meganium but I used my seed bomb because I thought she would stay in so I'm forced to switch out and I'm going to into my ferret and my ferret got trick as well so I'm gonna trick her back uh, she uses lead seed and it didn't hit so I'm gonna use my trick got her big root I don't have anything of use for it but she's got my choice carved and yeah now she's got to lead sheet me but that doesn't matter we got both tricked now she's gonna switch out to a Koshla and I'm gonna use U-turn because my ferret isn't that strong so she's got a shiny Koshla and that thing is kind of hard to defeat but it didn't quite it didn't do many damage but I'm going to use my Jigglypuff here it comes then uh, now my favorite Pokemon uses uh, it's gonna use counter because I thought she was gonna use a physical attack on me, but now she's gonna use toxic, but no problem. My Cherin just gonna wish it just right off. First I'm gonna use wish and then I'm gonna switch out so my Cherin gets the wish and then it's going to use the our arrow arrow my thingy. The, the uh, what do you call it? Aromatherapy. <laughs> so she's going to use Call Mine again. So I think she wants to set up. So I'm going to use my Aromatherapy. But I'm scarfed, so I can't do anything yet. So I'm going to have to switch out again and come to my MC Hammer, my Farfetch'd. So my Farfetch'd uh, is not a usual Farfetch'd. It's a cursing farfetched. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking, why use curse and not the the sword, uh, sword dance. 
because I don't like sword dancing, it's way too obvious, and I get a plus defense, so if it's gonna attack me with a physical attack, it's gonna live at least one hit. But she thought, ah, uh, that thing is not a problem for me, so she's gonna set up. But then, I'm, equi I'm equipped with, uh, with a stick, so my attack will rise, but I'm gonna brave her almost to death. But she said to me, oh my god, I'm almost dead, I have to switch out at the moment. So she's gonna lead off with the. Uh, so she's gonna switch with a Koshla. Uh, Koshla is the power gem, but I predicted it. I'm gonna use Leaf Blade, but then the thing's got a Rindo Berry, so it didn't take him out. So that was kind of lame. <laughs> so she's gonna use my power gem on me, and my Farfetch died. So that wasn't very. Very useful at the moment, so I'm gonna go continuing battling with my bluefish, but she's gonna use recover, and I thought, oh my god, how the hell I'm gonna defeat that little Koshla? So I'm gonna use my discharge, hoping for a para, para hex, but that obviously didn't happen. So I'm gonna go back to my daisy, and she's gonna use her power gem again on me. Power gem did quite some damage, but not much. Well, not much. It did over half, but I'm gonna seed bomb her and she's dead. Because she got the special defense up and not the normal defense. Plus she has four times weakness or something like that against grass. So she's gonna switch out, double switch to a giraffe rig. That was a very smart move because her attack rose, because she's got sap zipper. Uh, and she's got leftover, so giraffe rig is kind of hard to defeat. So I'm gonna use my Ladybug. Ladybug is my uh, Ladeon. People don't use Ladeon often, but it can be, yeah, it can be a tank. Like in this battle, it can be a tank. So I'm gonna use Toxic because I know she doesn't have Heal Bell or other things on her Pokemon. So yeah, I'm gonna switch out to my Cherim again. So I'm gonna use my Aroma Therapy again. Uh, oh no, wait, <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna use my Jigglypuff uh, first. Um, she's going for a Giraffic because she wanted to set up again, she said. Uh, that wasn't very smart to say on Cerebi, but she's gonna use Thunderbolt because she thought Jigglypuff isn't strong, but Jigglypuff can take it like a man. Well, woman. She's a woman. <laughs> so Jigglypuff's gonna use Wish again, and I'm gonna switch out to my Daisy again, so Daisy gets to Wish. So she's going to use Thunderbolt, and I'm going to use my Aromatherapy. Because Cherim can easily take a Thunderbolt without any setups. So, after I done that, I thought, how the hell I'm going to defeat that Girafferic? Girafferic is strong, Girafferic is powerful. It's got amazing setups, and it's got button pairs. So it's, if, he's, uh, if she succeeds to button pass it to a Lilip or whatever, then I'm I'm screwed. So Daisy cannot attack because she's scarfed. So I'm going back to my Furt again. Furt got Frisk, so he's got leftovers. So I thought, wait a minute, why not using Trick again? So so she won't get the leftovers on her. So I was hoping I could survive this, and I did with 38 HP. So I'm going to use Trick again. And yeah, I got her big Ruth. Uh, she's got my big Ruth. And I got the leftovers, but leftovers won't work on my uh, ferret because it's way too weak and it can cannot take another damage. So I'm going to use return. And it did quite some damage, but only because Raichu isn't high on defense. So I'm going to use a quick attack because I wanted to take the thing out, but it honestly didn't happen. Happened. So I'm gonna use my blue fish again because it cannot hit me. So she's gonna switch out and she's going to a meganium. Meganium is scarfed as well, so I'm gonna use attract. I know what you guys are thinking. Why the hell does he get a attract on a blue on his blue fish on a stunk fish? Well, guys, I must say I don't like the smoking versions of the battling. They, uh, they're obvious and 
no, I don't like it. I don't like to be surprising. So that's why I use the cursing, uh, uh, cursing farfetched. And I use a attract on many of my Pokemons. So she's going to leave off with a Bayonet again. Well, lead off. Well, she's going to switch out to her Bayonet. <laughs> I'm going to use switch because I need Jigglypuff to stay alive. So she's going to paralyze me and that yeah, that, that wasn't very, very helpful <laughs> because I get parahexed a few times after each other. Um, she's going to a Girafferig again because she knows she's going to going to set up easily on my jig Jigglypuff. Well, at least at least that's what she thought. Um, yeah, so I'm getting parahexed, and she can set up easily right now. So she's gonna set up Cold Mines again, and I thought I must take that thing out, otherwise I cannot win this game. So I'm gonna use my Jero Ball and watch this. My Jigglypuff almost takes it out. Because my Jigglypuff is slow, his traffic is rather fast. So this is why people should use Jigglypuff more often, like I do. I use cute Pokemon. I know people think, why the hell does he use cute Pokemon? Well, cute Pokemon can be strong as well. This proves it, and it almost taken my cheeky puff out. Thank God it didn't. So it got two kills at the moment, and I know cheeky puff is not gonna survive this because I cannot set up a wish. So I'm letting my cheeky puff die, and I'm going for my zero ball, and that's three kills for cheeky puff. So you guys see, cheeky puff is strong. Cheeky puff can be great. So she's gonna use her hidden power, and I don't know why she can go for hidden power grass because i didn't know it was grass but later on i knew and it wasn't very strong this i don't think she ev trained it or whatever but honestly i think her meganium was very powerful um so i'm gonna have to kill it with a poison so she's gonna switch out to her Lilip. that thing is also poisoned so it's gonna be a poison uh yeah, it's gonna be a poison draw or whatever. How do you say that? Uh, well, they die of poison. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, she's going back for a blue fish again. Uh, I'm going back for my blue fish. So she's going for energy ball, and that did that did quite some damage. And that's for a little little le leap. <laughs> Tried to say that many times. Little le leap, little le leap, little le leap, little le leap. <laughs> After that, <laughs> you never say Lilip again. But she's going for her energy ball again. And I'm almost dead. But I'm going to use my leftovers. And thank God he is almost dead as well. Well, she. Um, I'm going to use my earth power, but it didn't take him out. Because it's got the evil eye as well. So it's got amazing stats on defense and special defense. And... I like how she used the leap, but I don't know why she didn't use Stealth Rock or whatever. Well, I forgot my Stealth Rock. <laughs> uh, because my blue fish doesn't have Stealth Rock, I switched in with a Attract. So later on she's going for a Bayonet again. And I'm going to use my Discharge, but because she's going to use Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw doesn't take me out, I'm going to use Discharge and Bayonet is dead. So now I'm going to stall her to death with the poison, because Meganium is almost... Meganium is her last Pokemon. So yeah, this is going to take a while, so if you want to speed up... Well, yeah, she's going to hit and power me often, but my Tyrim isn't powerful enough to take the uh, Meganium out. So I'm going to use my uh, Nature Power, it's the Earthquake. I thought maybe it did some damage, but no, it didn't do anything. <laughs> so I'm forced to switch out again. Um, I'm going for my uh, for my stungfish again. Stungfish is good if you got your opponent cornered like this. See, this is what I mean. She got the hidden power grass. I don't know why she picked grass or whatever. 
Um, that doesn't matter because <laughs> she managed to take out my stunk fish as well. So I'm going to use my attract again, hoping she would uh, miss. So my stunk fish could uh, live. But that doesn't matter she died as well because this is a good game. And I thought it was a good game for Bio Lizard. So I sent him this video because I used my favorite Pokemon Jigglypuff. And our, our both Pokemon died. And I won. Yeah, I won. So she was a good battler. And I hope you guys will visit my channel often. Because I'm going to upload many vids. See you later.